What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Gardening with Bar Chuckin. Today's a little cooler out. It's 45 with a feels like temperature of 41. But I need to make a new compost bin. So I picked this geo bin up from the extension office. It's actually in conjunction with our uh, Delaware Solid Waste Authority DSWA. It was only $20, so I figured, what the heck, let's try it out. So I'm gonna put it together and start making this compost bin. So what it said to do first was unravel it. So that's what I did. I want this bin to be as big as it possibly can. This key or clip goes in sideways. Once it's all the way in, give it a twist so it goes 90 degrees. There we go. So the instructions say you want to have one clip at the top and one clip at the bottom. In, give it a twist. There we go. One more. So there's one at the bottom, there'll be one in the middle, one at the top, and then in between those clips. Another thing I'm gonna do, because I'm not gonna really mess with the pile all that much, is, well, I was planning on getting it in there. Um, this is what I did last season with that um, uh, passively aerated compost pile. I'm gonna set that in the middle, so then I really don't have to worry about it. Just let the, the compost do its own thing. The way I'm going to start layering it is browns at the bottom, then a layer of green, and just keep going. So, my brown of choice, I have pine trees out back, so I get a ton of pine needles. This is exactly how I did it the last time. It doesn't go ahead and make the compost more acidic or anything like that. Everything breaks down into a nice usable compost for the garden. After you put the browns and the greens in, you wanna water everything in. The consistency you're looking for is that of kinda of like a, a wet, wrung out sponge. For this next layer, I have a bag of um, the trimmings of a bush that I have out in the front yard. And to help ensure that everything breaks down, I'm not going to put the rock in there, but uh, I, I'm putting a couple scoops from my compost bin. Start, start giving it some uh, good bacteria. Put her in the next layer. This next layer has more, uh, these are leaves from the front yard, and it also has some more of those uh, clippings from the bushes. Shoot, to get four, four inches of grass in a four foot pile, it's a lot of grass. I'm gonna go 
go get more compost. Some of this compost isn't broke down yet, but it'll break down in this pile. All I'm making sure is that there's a, a layer going all the way around the bin. Ah, I filled that one up a little better. Okay, more water. Okay, next layer of worm. Okay, that's it for the browns. I have my grass sitting on a tarp, so it's kind of getting wet. I'm gonna compost it, and then I'm gonna add another layer of grass, because that's all I got left. Always love seeing worms. Okay, I was able to get some of the, the shredded paper from downstairs. It's not enough for a whole layer, but it's better than nothing. And then I'll add my grass. I'm gonna hit it with another layer of compost and water. Okay, let me water it in. Well, I truly hope this does as well as it did last year. The passive aerated uh, compost pile was spectacular last year. I'm hoping for, you know, comparable results this year with this new geo bin. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.